So clearly the audio didn't work, but good news that I only covered the microphone for the first minute of this video. So let's just speed through this and get to the audio. But so I just got home from work. Today's video I'm going to show you my productive night routine. So I just got back home from work. It's Alexa. What time is it? 14 p.m. So it's 4.14 p.m. And I have a lot of things to do. So Nathan is his first day back at uni. So he is out and then he's working after. So I have the whole place to myself all night after work until he gets home, which I do obviously love when he's home. Um, I prefer it, obviously. But it's nice to have these nights because I have so much that I need to get done this week. So, so I just thought that I'd take you guys along for my productive night routine and kind of the stuff that I do during a productive night routine. First thing I like to do when I get home from work is not lay down because if I lay down, then I won't get anything done. I won't get back up. I'll just watch Netflix all night and I'll get really tired. So what I like to do is just start getting into work mode, start getting things done. So the first thing I'm going to do is tidy up the entire house. So I'll just give you guys a little overview. If you've seen any of my cleaning routine videos, I'll link them all down below, but um, sometimes the house gets a little messy and right now it's particularly really messy. Just look at how good the quality is compared to my other cleaning videos. Um, but so this is the box. I actually bought it from eBay and the power cord is for Europe and I'm in Australia. That's okay because I have adapters for just about everything because I have a lot of US electronics. So just have to clean up the living room, tidy up the kitchen. I made um, a crock pot dinner tonight since Nathan will be out. So I just made some ham, pineapple, sweet potatoes. Um, and I can leave that crock pot recipe down below. I actually just got it from Pinterest. So I just have to do that put away the dishes. I'm gonna change into some comfier clothes, out of my work clothes, and start cleaning up this mess. a really quick clean I am someone that cannot think straight or get anything done if the house is messy so I just did a quick like surface clean but every night before I go to bed I like to deep clean so after dinner all that mess and everything I clean it up or Nathan cleans it so I just put things back where they belonged um, just kind of clean things a little bit put things into piles uh, to take care of so tonight for the rest of the agenda the productive agenda um, I have to do some blogging. I have some freelance work I have to do. So even after I come home from work, I have more work to do. Um, that's what's so nice about working nine to four is that I don't work nine to five. So I kind of have that extra hour of work that I like to squeeze. I have a campaign to work on for blogging. I have, and I'm going to take Freya on a walk. It's a little too hot right now. So I'm waiting for the night to cool down then um, I should be good to go. One of the videos that I want to do in the future is um, more about Freya. We have three animals. We have two cats, both we rescued from the shelter, um, from two different shelters. And then Freya 
which we got, I guess, from not a breeder, because she was an accident. So um, if you didn't know, well, actually, I don't think I ever said, but if you didn't follow me on my blog, then you wouldn't know that Freya is a mix between a French Bulldog and an Australian Kelpie. I don't know why I forgot that. Um, so two very completely different breeds and two completely different personalities. So um, like I said, she was an accident. So um, the dogs weren't obviously meant to breed. There was only two of them and we just um, got it from like a private seller type of thing. Like kind of like Craigslist in the US, but it's called Gumtree here in Australia. The end of July of 2018. Um, so she was born in May, so she's about eight months old right now. Um, and she's so smart, but if you know how French Bulldogs are, they are also stubborn. So she's very smart, very active, as an Australian Kelpie would be, but she's also extremely stubborn. A mix, but we love her, so I'll definitely do a video more about her. And just because there's no other breed out there like her, so I think that would be interesting to put on my channel. Um, not to encourage people to breed those breeds together, but just because puppy content is great to go to my office and get some work done. Trainers, sit. High five. Oh, good girl. But you're supposed to do the right thing. Yes. Good girl. Ready? Lay down. Oh, such a smart puppy. High five. Yes, good girl. Okay, so what I've been doing is working on my freelance social media stuff. I don't have it due until Thursday, and today is Tuesday. Well, it's Thursday, but it's Thursday in the US, so technically like um, Friday morning in Australia. But I like to do it as soon as possible because what I like to do is just go through everything and then edit it. And obviously I like to be before the deadline and make a good impression. So I've been with this company for over a year now. Basically, um, freelancing is just something that I've wanted to do. Um, I've always loved the option of working from home and remotely, especially when it comes to traveling, it's really nice. So this isn't my full-time job. Um, my full-time job, I go nine to four every day, like I said, um, and do marketing for a company here in Australia. But this company is actually really great because they have a USA branch and an Australian branch. So I'm actually doing freelance for our Australian clients, um, but I'm working for the US branch. So it's nice that I have this kind of job at the moment. So I really definitely hope to expand my freelancing, but basically they send me a content calendar uh, and I fill in the content. So I go through the website and just create different things. I'm nearly done with that. And then once I'm done with that, I will move on to my blog stuff. So I just wanted to show you because I always find it so interesting, like behind the scenes stuff. Um, so right now I'm just in Adobe Lightroom and I'm just editing photos um, for a blog post. So it's a um, clean with me, but it's um, in depth of the cleaning products that I use. So these are just some of the photos and then I've edited them. So if you didn't know, Our Wandering Mind is my blog, so um, travel, lifestyle, and beauty content, so definitely check it out. So I'll show you guys kind of behind the scenes of how I do a blog post. It really depends on the type of blog post. A lot of blog posts for me, I'm more of someone who puts out quality over quantity when it comes to blog posts because I just really want to be proud of the work I'm putting out there. Is that I started off my blog doing like, well I was in college so I was doing college advice stuff. I was doing favorites and that kind of stuff and now my blog has turned more into um, advice and motivation and more specific longer posts that are more detailed so 
long story short, um, posts take me a while. So I, in college, I think it's so funny that in college I had a part-time job as a waitress, waitressing till like 2 a.m. I was a full-time student and I had an internship and tried to have a social life and I was blogging three times a week. So I don't know how I did it, but it's so weird because sometimes it's like when you're the busiest, you can put on more, like you can handle more in your life. I don't know how it works, but um, I just thrive being busy. So I always like to take on more stuff or I'm bored. Uh, so that's maybe why I work multiple jobs and blog and now want a YouTube, but I am just rambling. So yeah, so the blog post, they can take a while for me, depending on what type of post. Loading the video of my cleaning routine. So it's my first cleaning routine. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. I love watching cleaning routines, so I'm excited to post them on my channel and I hope you guys like them. I wanted to do a in-depth blog post of the cleaning products that I use. Um, just because I didn't want to uh, do like a whole video. Maybe I will do a whole video, but I didn't want to, in that particular video, talk about just cleaning products. I'm, I'm not working with a company or anything like that, but I have an own personal deadline of getting it done Thursday because that's when I wanted to post the video. Right? Um, but yeah, so I have started it already. And how I do blog posts is I kind of do the photos first. I think it just gives me better structure. And then I write the content and then I edit it multiple times, organize it better, do better headings, all that. And then proofread it and then schedule it to be posted. If it's travel related, I normally always post an Instagram. If it's not necessarily travel related, like this cleaning routine, I might not post an Instagram because my Instagram feed is mostly travel related, so some stuff just doesn't fit with it. Still working on my Instagram, but if you guys want to follow my Instagram, I'll leave a link down below. I'll turn the brightness down on the computer. Hopefully you guys can see, um, but yeah, so I use actually Grammarly. A lot of people talk about it, and I think some YouTubers have been sponsored, but I love it. Um, so you can just see how it's kind of put together. I have some photos. So then I can see what the blog post would look like on my blog before it's published. I'm gonna finish writing that. I, I will edit it officially tomorrow and get that done before Thursday. take a break from all this and I'm going to feed the animals well the cats right now they let me know when it's dinner time Freya constantly eats um, I'm gonna feed the cats and then I think I'm also gonna eat some dinner myself Nathan was think he was thinking that maybe he'd make it home after school before work um, for dinner but unfortunately he won't be making it due to traffic so I'll be eating dinner alone, but that's fine. Cause I'll either watch something on Netflix or I will watch YouTube. I said when I get home from work and I wanna have a productive night, um, I don't lounge on the couch cause I'll start watching Netflix and won't stop. However, that being said, I've been pretty productive and I still have more work to be done, but especially when it comes, um, I have like a set time frame that I can like goof off or not work. So it allows me to, you know, relax, but I have a certain amount of time that I would relax and not watch Netflix for the rest of the night, you know? Who wants dinner? Can you say me? Yeah, me, me. Yeah, Ronan and Freya aren't really the best of friends. Right, Ronan? Right. Where do we go? Oh, thank you. Feed Ronan and Harley separate food. I would like to feed them the same stuff, but Ronan has digestion problems. He's eight years old and Harley's only a year and a half. We do feed them in separate rooms because Harley will try to eat all of Ronan's food and vice versa. So. So I 
just put some leftovers in a container for Nathan to have after work, and then I have mine. Um, easy recipe, like I said, I'll link it down below. I just found it from Pinterest. A lot of times I just, when I don't know what to cook during the week, I just look up stuff on Pinterest. And especially on days like this, where I really wouldn't feel like cooking for myself, um, or just busy days, crock pot meals are good. And then also, like I'm trying to only eat meat once a day, because I did that a couple years ago, where I was limiting my meat intake, and I just felt really good. Um, I also lost weight, so that was nice too. I only have just kind of meat for dinner, but lunch and breakfast is either vegetarian or vegan. Really hard for me to do, I just, that's just how it is right now. Um, maybe eventually it will be me only a couple times a week, but um, just doing what feels right and all that. You wanna show everybody how excited you are for your walk? How excited are you? Yeah. We got the leash, yeah. Okay, sit. Good girl. So it's cooled down a little bit, so I'm just gonna head out with Freya for a walk. She's super excited and I'm super full from dinner, so this will be good. I didn't finish everything. It was a bit too much, so I just put that rest in Nathan's container, but it was super good, super easy. Turn from our walk um, and it's about 7 20 p.m. so this is about the time that it's me time yeah, so I'm pretty happy with everything that I accomplished tonight I still have a little bit of work left to do on both my blog and the social media stuff but it's all stuff that I can easily finish tomorrow what I'm gonna do is the light candles around the house I like to do that when I know that I'm gonna be home for the rest of the night so after I've walked the dog and everything like that. I love lighting candles, it's my favorite part of the night. It just makes the house feel so good and homey. So I'm gonna go through and light all the candles and then I'm going to shower, get into some comfier clothes, AKA PJs, and I'm going to chill on the couch and watch some Netflix. I hope you guys enjoyed this productive evening with me. If you guys have any suggestions of any types of videos that you wanna see, definitely leave them down below. And definitely let me know your thoughts of the camera quality down below if there's anything that I should do differently. Uh, lighting, obviously like my, my glasses, they're reflecting a bit, I've noticed, but um, just leave any comments or suggestions down below. I would really appreciate it. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.